All right, guys, this is video number 12 of the series, uh, and we're going to talk about a limb or a limit. Uh, you can see them right here. Okay. Uh, they are a comparison. You can find them right up here in compare, and there's the limb right there. Uh, these are a little bit different than the other comparisons where this is looking at two different things, right? And it's getting a value, uh, a, a true or a false, based off of the two of those. It's testing the two. And your test value right here can change, and you can still get different trues and falses. So looking at this limit, you have uh, a low limit and a high limit. That's right here and right here. There's your low limit and your high limit. And here's the actual value that's in those two integers, okay? And I've got two of them on here, one here and one right here, okay? So let's look at it. So this one, the low limit is A integer, and the B limit, uh, the high limit is the B integer, okay? What a limit does is it does a test, for these two values. So the low limit is, on this one, the value is six. The high limit, the value is 10. It's testing for the value of 51. Now, a limit can do uh, a couple different things the way it works. So you've got to remember this. Um, let me pull up the help section here. Okay, here's our low limit our test and our high limit. And how it works is explained right here. If the low limit is less than or equal to the high limit, if it's equal to or between the limits, you're gonna get a true. If it is not equal to or outside the limits, you're gonna get a false. Now, if the uh, high limit, uh, if the low limit is greater than the high limit, equal to or outside the limit, you're going to get a true. And not equal to or inside, you're going to get a false. That kind of explains it, but I'm going to show it to you. All right. So let's look at this one right here. Our low limit, A integer, is 6. Our high limit is is B, uh, B integer, and it's at 100, and our test is 51. So 51, uh, since the low limit is a lower number than the high limits number, it's looking for values to be in between there. So anywhere from 6 to 100, if the test uh, was any of those numbers, it would give us a true. If it was anything outside of that, Say five, if our test was five, that would be on the outside, it would give us a false. If our test was 101, that's on the outside of the limits, so that would give us a false. But as you can see, 51, the low limit is lower than the high limit, so it's looking for a value in between the two to give us a true. The value is 51. So it's giving us a true and turning on output four. Uh, the same integers down here in a different limit, same values. Our low limit is 100 and our high limit is six. So our low limit is higher than our high limit. So it's not going to look for Anything in between there is looking for something outside of there. So you see we're getting a false right now because it tested for the value of 51. And 51 is in between the two. But since the low limit is higher than the high limit value, it's giving us a false. In this case, it would give us a true if this was... Uh, on the outside. So if it's anywhere from five on down or 101 and up, it would give us a true. Okay. So you see that right there. I'm going to go ahead 
and I'm going to go offline and I'm going to just change this value on my test to 101. And I need to re-download that. Now, this output 5 will come on as soon as I hit yes. See, it came on. Because, again, our low limit is higher than our high limit value. So it's looking for values outside of that range. So anywhere from 5 on down or uh, 101 on up to give us a true. I uh, hope that makes sense. And if you have any questions, um, you know, feel, feel free to contact us. Uh, and play around with these limits. If you need to, just build a little program, something like what I've been doing in these videos, uh, and play with them. And don't forget, you have the help section. Always use the help section to figure things out if uh, you're struggling with something. All right, stay tuned for the next video, and we'll talk to you guys later.